Hello, I'm Meg McGuire and I work at King's College in London and I've been invited by the editorial team of Discourse to talk about a recent paper that's been published around how policies get enacted in schools and I've been asked to talk a little bit about it with you. The thing about the project is that we were very interested in how schools actually enact, not implement, policy that and there are different sorts of policies that they get involved with. So we did empirical work in four secondary schools in the English setting to try and test out some of our theories about how policies work. So our project had two intentions. One was to theorise up enactment and the other was to try and provide some empirical work for teasing out and, and pro providing a purchase on, on that, those sets of theoretical assumptions. And the paper in Discourse is about a particular issue that was raised some time ago by Colbatch in, in the area of policy writing. And he said, pulling on an old truism, that where you stand depends on where you sit. And so, in a sense, the views that people take depend on their values and their assumptions and perhaps their disciplinary inclinations. So we were quite interested to see how that worked out in school. And in this paper we take an example of the way that policy gets differently interpreted because of where people stand. And so for example in terms of behaviour management we argue that it may well be that a classroom teacher takes a perspective that here is a disruptive student who needs to be dealt with so that the teacher can get on. And it may well be that the person who's responsible for behaviour management will be arguing, here is a student who needs to learn about how other people feel when they behave in a certain way. And so where you stand depends on where you sit. What we offer in this paper, we hope, is an approach towards understanding policy in this more fine-grained way, as enactment, not as implementation, as something that depends on agency, perspective and context. And also what we want to try and do is illustrate that, so that our argument then is that where you stand plays powerfully into where you sit and renders policy enactment a more fragile and unstable process that is sometimes imagined. I hope you enjoy reading the paper. Thank you for listening.